Hi, how's it going? Welcome. My name is Jessica. Today we are going to be doing my roots and refreshing my hair. I do this on my channel about every six months using vegan and cruelty free hair dye. Just a disclaimer, I am not a professional. I just really enjoy dyeing my hair and have done it for the majority of my life. But before we get into it, if you like vegan and cruelty free beauty and lifestyle videos, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using two Two bleach kits from Manic Panic. I've used this one for years. It's the Amplified Flash Lightning 40 Volume Cream Developer. I'm going to be using this on one side of my head and then this one is brand new to me. They sent it to me. I'm so excited to try it. It's the Blue Lightning 30 Volume Cream Developer and I kind of want to compare them, see if there's any major differences. Yeah, as far as my knowledge, there aren't that many blue toned vegan, well, I don't think there's any on the market that are vegan and cruelty free. I know that like L'Oreal has like a blue toned bleach, but they test on animals. I'm pretty sure it's L'Oreal that has a blue bleached tone. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these together and I will be right back. So I'm back, I have the blue lightning hair bleach all mixed together. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to get started and do my roots on this side of my head. Also, I think there's going to be like a little bit of overlap between the bleaches. So, doing the best I can. But what I think I'm going to do is just show you like how it looks like over where there hasn't been any overlap of the two bleaches. Alright, so here's what we have so far with the blue lightning. And then I'm going to go in with the flash lightning on this side and then we'll see. Alright y'all so I am all done. I am going to put a cap on, let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I will be back after it's all rinsed out and show you the results. Hi okay so I'm back. Bleach is all rinsed out and everything, and here's what my hair is looking like. So this is the side that had the 30 volume developer that was blue, and let me flip my hair over so you can see the other side. So here's what my hair looks like on the side that had the 40 developer, and obviously there is going to be a difference between 30 and 40 developer. 40 developer is going to lift the hair more, but overall I do not see a huge difference between these the sides which is what I was curious about like obviously I knew there was going to be a small difference because there is a difference between the volume of the developer but because the bleach kit is blue I was wondering if that was going to make a difference and the more I look at my hair honestly like the, the less I notice a difference and the more it looks like pretty much the same, just like a very, very, very slight difference. I am so excited to finally be dyeing my hair. I'm gonna be doing two colors in my hair. I'm going to be using Manic Panic Electric Lizard, which I've used before. This is actually what was on my hair <laughs> before I bleached it, love it. And then my old standby, the Lime Crime Anime, it's like a teal color, love it. Fingers crossed I can do it. I'm not the best at doing like two-tone hair. I've done like multi-tone hair on my YouTube channel once before and it turned out freaking awesome. So <sighs> fingers crossed that this works out. Okay, so I'm just going to get started by putting the turquoise color at the top near my roots. All 
right so now that I basically have the blue where I want it I'm going to go ahead and take the green and then just put it everywhere else there's no real rhyme or reason to the way that I applied it if there's overlap I don't really care <laughs> I really like the way that it looks I really love the green and the blue honestly too like my green hair turned blue so often um, after washing it a few times so this will make me feel like I I feel like it's gonna make me feel more confident about my hair too because I was adding like yellow to it every couple of weeks to make sure it look, looked green so this way if it turns blue or mostly blue it's fine because half of my hair is blue anyway by the way I switched to using my hands <laughs> because I already used the brush and in my experience if you use a wet brush to put on hair dye it does not turn out as well so I've also like dyed my hair using just my hands so many times and honestly there's not like a huge difference between using my hands and a brush if any difference at all so I don't really I don't really mind doing it that way but you know whatever works best for you all right so this is pretty much what my hair looks like I'm going to go ahead put it in a cap for about a half an hour wash it out and I will be back with the final results to show y'all all right so I am back and I'm going to share my thoughts with you so this is what my hair looks like this is what it looks like on the side where I used the blue lightning kit and this side over here is the flash lightning side so the reason why I wanted to compare these two bleach kits even though there is like an obvious difference in them is because one of them is blue bleach and one of them is white bleach so I've never been able to find a vegan and cruelty free blue bleach before so I thought it would be cool to try I've always heard from people that blue bleach is the way to go so I was wondering you know why and I looked it up and it said that it, it is supposed to neutralize the orange shades in your hair when you bleach it so do I think that it neutralized the orange I think if I went on top of the bleach and I did it a second time I think it would neutralize the orange way better than it did but all in all I feel like it did do a really good job despite the obvious difference this is only a 30 developer while this one is 40 I feel like they look pretty much the same on both sides I do like notice a slight difference on this side it's not enough where it bothers me so both of the bleach kits are about the same price I will leave all that information and link everything down below by the way for full disclosure this blue lightning one was sent to me in PR I purchased the flash lightning myself and then manic panic did send me also the electric lizard hair dye so yeah I'm really happy with my hair I would use either of the bleach kits again I would probably for the sake of the video I did only use the bleach kit one time on my hair if I were doing it on my own time and if it wasn't for a YouTube video I would have gone in probably a second time to remove some more of those orange tones from my hair but all in all I'm pretty happy with my hair I'm very happy with my hair actually I love the way it turned out I'm obsessed I love this green and blue two of my favorite colors that I've ever dyed my hair in one what could be better but um I would pick up either of these manic panic bleach kits again if you're looking to bleach your hair I would recommend either of them I think they're both fabulous if you are interested also in any other hair videos I will leave my other videos down below I also have a playlist if you click on my channel there's a whole bunch of other hair videos if you want to see more and yeah 
thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!